people, if you have nothing to do, then I want you to try this out. Maybe replanting your landscape beds. Now, you know, I know nothing about this, but would love to know how to make it look professional. So we went to the experts. Here's uh, Rick Apple at A&A Plants. He gave me some advice. Well, if you're like me, you don't know what you're doing when you're trying to re-landscape your beds out there. I look at them, it's like a blank canvas, but I don't know what to do. So we bring in our friend Rick from A&A Plants. Um, I need your help, Rick. Talk, let's talk about that. How do you structure a landscape bed? Well, it's always good to start off you, if you're gonna make a new bed, uh, is to work that soil up, get you some good soil amendments in there, some good organic material, and, and make that bed before you start planting. Once you've done that, you can make your plant selection. Uh, we always recommend planting in numbers of three, odd numbers, not even numbers. Makes it look a lot more uh, continuous, and it's just a lot, lot better and looks better. So, eat odd, odd numbers, and you plant your, put your plants in. Like I said, the organic material that you're going to put into the soil and mix with the soil that's already there helps that plant get established. Helps conserve moisture, and, and uh, you know, roots need plenty of air and plenty of water. So that's really important that your soil is good and loose and to build that, that bed up. Rick, I appreciate your help. I guess everybody can call you if they need some advice, right? That's right, we'd be glad to glad, glad to see them. We've been really busy. Uh, folks, I guess, are staying close to home, want to do more work around home so they can enjoy it through the summer. That's right, don't give my wife any more ideas. Have a good day, Rick. Thank you. Yeah, no more honey doing it list. I'm I am good to go. Hey, if you want to get in touch with them, uh, we've got ANA Plants contact info on the story on WFMYNews2.com. Just look for that. A lot of lot of time for folks to sit around and kind of uh, and do this. And I think it's great. Uh, I've gone out, Maddie, and checked out my beds and just figured out. In fact, I told Rick I was I'm calling you later. I've got to figure out how to do this. I'm impressed. And if you get something to grow, I'll be even more impressed, Chilton, because you and I <laughs> have the same trait. We do not share a green thumb. You know, no. a lot of times people are like, your last name's Gardner. I'm like, yeah, don't, don't leave me with your plants because yeah. you're going to be sad when I you love, come back. <laughs> I love your line when you used to say that's as close as I'll get. I'm, I'm a gardener, but that's about it. You yeah. know what I've noticed, um, too? So let's talk. It's well, that go ahead. more people who don't have gardens or yards to plant things in if they live in an apartment. I've noticed they're stepping up their potted plant game. A lot of my friends who live yes. in apartments have been going out and getting succulents and different kind of air plants to put in their apartments. I think that's a really cool idea, too. That'll work. That will work. Yeah, you got to do what you can depending on where you live. That's for sure.